Hi my friends, thanks for joining me. Um, today we're going to do a neurographic watercolor. So I have a 5x7 here that I've marked out gently with a pencil. So this is my interior line and then this will be my outside edge. And did this in particular to fit a 5x7 mat in case I decide to mat it or mat and frame it. So yeah, so I've made these uh, gentle lines and I'm going to come in with some Paul Rubin vivid colored, vivid um, paints, just using a, I think this is size five or size, oh, size eight. Well, size eight in a Brie Reese, um, Each company sizes, it seems, sizes their uh, brushes differently. So, anyway, I'm going to uh, just jump in here. I'm wetting my brush. And I think I'm going to attempt different colors for my, oh, yeah, I made my circles here with, um, you know, anything you have handy. I use the bottom of my glue and the bottom of this craft paint and yeah just gonna go for it so let's start with a nice as your blue start with some gentle color oh not so gentle <laughs> oh what was I thinking that's okay Now, if you're anything like me, you're certainly not going to get this circle perfect. Some people just amaze me in their ability to do that. Now, I'm just going to lift off a bit of this paint. To give me you know a certain look I'll come in and add a little bit more color around my edge here and I want to sort of get a gradual get my paint to look like it's gradually fading okay doing this gives your paint you're painting a little bit more of a sort of 3D look. I'm just going to come around my edges here with a little bit more dark paint. Just again to give it a little bit more dimension. And I won't go the full circle. Added a little bit of water. And I think that's about where we want it. Okay, let's try another color. Let's go for a green. I'm going to use a uh, sap green to start. Let's make this one sap green. I love this color. Just so fresh and clean. Almost the same color as my car, actually. Which I paid extra money for, <laughs> for this color. But, you know what? 
I figured I keep my cars for a fairly long time and I have to be happy with the color of it in the scheme of things it's so unimportant but <laughs> you know when you're being frivolous color counts for your car so Okay, I'm going to lift a bit of that off. And come in with... Let's add a little... Well, let's add a little bit more of the soft green and maybe we'll actually go into a deep green for the edge. Add a little bit more water because I want it to sort of blend, look like it's flowing. Okay, let's see how it looks with a bit of the, the dark green. This may be too dark, but we'll see. Oh, not bad. Now I think I need to fill this in a little bit more. Really wet brush. A little more of the dark green on the edge, I think. I do want it to uh, bloom a little bit. Okay, that works for me. Let's come in with another color. Okay, we'll stick with primary colors. Um, let's try a, start with a violet, a light violet. Okay, I'm actually satisfied with how, how that uh, came out, so I'm just going to come in with a darker violet, deep violet, and come along our edge here. This is, uh, there's a little more blue in it, that's fine. Okay, let's leave that there as it is. Um, I don't want to go totally primary colors because then, I don't know, to me it sort of loses its value. So I think I will go in with a burnt sienna. I should wait for this to dry. See if we can get 
get around it. So I hope everybody's doing well today. It's a wet and rainy day here. It's okay, we need it. So I'm going to come in now with uh, burnt umber for my blooming edges. See, I did come. I should have waited. That's okay. Let's go a little bit more with the uh, burnt umber. I'm just going to leave that for now. We can add more if we choose a little bit later. And okay. I'm going to stick with some of the darker colors. Maybe um, a darker version of this green, possibly. So let's go in with a bluish green. And a little darker on the edges. Okay. I believe I would like to bring this up here. So we'll go back to, let's start with burnt umber. Make it a little bit darker. And then we'll go with sepia. Okay, let's leave it like that. And, hmm, maybe, maybe a yellow, a deep yellow. So let's start, okay, let's start with this medium yellow. Now that's quite bright, a little brighter than the rest of our circles. So I'm going to spread that out a little bit and then come in with a, a deeper yellow. Okay, 
little less water this time and again with the deeper yellow. Okay. Now we're assuming by the way that I've painted this that the light's coming in this direction. So we have our lighter areas on the right side here. Okay. Now I'm going to dry that, make sure it's dry, and then we'll come in and do our neographic lines. All right, so I have this dry. Now I'm going to use an ultra-fine Sharpie and or a micron, a 01 micron, which is a fine tip, archival ink pen. Um, and the point of neographic art is to help you relax, help you relieve stress. So we're not going to get too serious here. And we're going to make, instead of straight lines, we're going to uh, make some wavy lines. Now I'm trying to decide whether I want to go over or under, or maybe both. So, yeah. And we're going to come from outside of the painting to outside of the painting. So, and I want to be aware that I'm not setting a pattern up where I've got a lot of lines going in one direction and not in another. I'm going to be crossing some lines. Now we don't want to make it too busy because then we tend to push the painting, our paintwork, too far into the background. So I think that will do for now. Now what we're going to do, which is commonplace in neographic art, is join our lines, fill in where they intersect. some areas you're going to uh, probably make a little a little bit stronger than others you know I mean, this area is larger this one's larger than that one so you, yeah you might want to uh, vary the size of your connections so I'm going to stop talking so that I can work on this and speed it up a little bit. And then we'll come back and see what we have.
Okay, so I finished my neographic line work. Now, as you know, I I uh, did speed it up, which is not the point of doing new neographic uh, artwork. The idea is to do relax and just, you know, flow along. But for the sake of my video, I did speed it up. So, yeah, so I'm trying to decide if I'm okay with this as it is. I'm just trying my mat here. Now that could work, and there will be lots of you who will think this is done. And there will be others who will say, okay, no, you need to do a little more with that. So, I'm going to... I think I'm going to do a little bit more. And I do appreciate um, anybody that would just decide to stop at this point. I get that totally. But I think I will add a little bit more. Now I've added a couple lines here. I might, may, might do that in a couple of places. Maybe just fill in some of this white area. Just seems to be too much white. So, okay. We could add some oval shapes. Going in different directions just to make it more interesting as I said just to sort of fill this in a little bit maybe uh, large one here and just add another design here why not now we're getting into some sort of a zentangle type work but that's okay it works As I said, just go with the flow. Maybe, let's see. Uh, need something here, don't we? Okay, what can we do there? Maybe just fill that in. Let's try that. And we could do a checkerboard design there. And that's just filling in every second square. So if you have a black square, the one on top of that is going to be white. So this is black, that will be white. This is this one's white, so the one on top will be black. It's 
So we're getting, I'm going to uh, speed this up. And then we'll come back. Okay, now I don't want to overdo. I need some white space there, but uh, I think I need to fill in a little bit more. Let's just do some stippling. Let's stipple here, which is just a matter of working your painting with uh, dots. adds interest, gives your piece a little more dimension. Okay, a little more stippling maybe here. So we've pretty well thrown in the kitchen sink here. <laughs> That's okay. As I said, we just, we want to make it as interesting as we can. So I like the effect of the stippling so far. Let's do a bit of uh, stippling right in this corner here. Sort of corner. Now you have to let me know, um, did I go too far? Should I stop? Should I have stopped just with the neographic lines? Or do you prefer it a little more filled in as I'm doing now? Yeah, just let me know. People, everybody has different tastes. I'm just curious, do you like it uh, plainer or as I'm doing now. So yeah, I like the stippling. I think I'll do a little bit more stippling. Maybe a bit here. Right over our watercolor paint. And trying to keep composition in mind too. You know, I did the checkerboard here and here, so I needed to tie it together over here. The same with these, this pattern. Okay, a little bit more stippling, I think, here. And maybe over here or up here. Let's do a bit up here. And we'll finish off down here, I think. So are we done? I think we can overdo it. So 
I want to be careful of that. I think we might be, we might be done. Feels like it needs something right there and possibly right there. So, um, let's just add a few dots here. And maybe some here. Okay. I think we're done. Let's try a few mats. See how we feel about our work with the mats. That could work. Let's try a brighter one. That works. And let's try an oval. That could work too. I don't know which one I like better. Hmm. Maybe this green. I don't know. It's a big decision. Actually, it does make a big difference. The mat, the mat and the frame really need to be just right. So. I'm just going to leave it at that for now. Would love it if you subscribed, if you haven't subscribed already. And if you are subscribed, be sure to press that notification bell so you know each time I upload. And yeah, hope you enjoyed that. It's fun to do. Very relaxing, which is the point of neographic art. So we sort of incorporated neographic art, watercolor, stippling, and zentangle. And that's okay. So yeah, so that's it for today. And I hope you folks have a fabulous day. And I will see you on the next one. Bye for now.